Good day! I'm Camille M. Macanilao, third year student nurse from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. And for today's video, I will demonstrate how to administer oxygen by nasal cannula. The goal of this procedure is for the patient exhibits an oxygen saturation level within acceptable parameters. Equipment Check for oxygen delivery device as ordered by healthcare provider. Oxygen tubing, consider extension tubing. Humidifier if indicated. Sterile water for humidifier. Oxygen source, oxygen flow meter, and appropriate room signs. Bring necessary equipment in the bed sign stand or over bed table. Then perform hand hygiene and put on PPE if indicated. Next, identify the patient by looking to the door tag name, bedside name tag, and wrist tag. Or you just simply ask the patient. Ma'am, ano po ang inyong pangalan? Then close curtains around bed and close the door to the room if possible. Then explain what you are going to do and the reason for doing it to the patient. Review safety precautions necessary when oxygen is in use. Place no smoking signs in appropriate areas. Like this. Mama, ga administer po ako sa inyo ng oxygen via nasal cannula para po um, umayos po ang inyong paghinga at mabuwasan po ang discomfort na inyong nararamdaman. Bali po, um, sundan niyo lang po yung mga instructions ko sa inyo para po uh, maiwasan po natin yung unwanted discomfort. Okay po ma'am? Then connect nasal cannula to oxygen setup with humidification. If one is in use, then adjust flow rate as ordered. Check that oxygen is flowing out of prongs. Place prongs in patient's nostrils. Place tubing over and behind each ear with adjuster comfortably under chin. Alternately, the tubing may be placed around the patient's head with the adjuster at the back of base of the head. Place gauze pads at ear beneath the tubing, as necessary. If you put the nasal prong to the patient, it should be like this. Ma'am, okay na po ba yung higpit? There's an also alternative way in putting this nasal cannula to the patient. Just like this. Then adjust again but not too tight. 
Ma'am, okay na po ba yung higpit niya? Encourage patient to breathe through the nose with the mouth closed. Ma'am, dahil nga po kuminga gamit ang inyong ilong habang nagsarado ang inyong bibi. Okay po, ma'am. Reassess patient's respiratory status including respiratory rate, effort, and lung sounds. Note any signs of respiratory distress such as the kidney and nasal flaring, use of accessory muscles, or dyspnea. Remove PPE if used. Then perform hand hygiene. Then document all the procedures. Put on clean gloves. Remove and clean the cannula and assess nares at least every 8 hours or according to agency recommendations. Then check nares for evidence of irritation or bleeding. 